Ed from Pinball Mayhem here for part two of the Swami napkin dispenser. Um, ask Swami. Everything's been cleaned. Uh, I had everything uh, scrubbed it down. This was uh, really greasy, like someone used white lithium grease inside there. Clean that down, straighten the plate. This was really greasy, straighten that down. Uh, cleaned it really good, got all the white lithium grease off of it. Uh, for the rubber here, originally this was a um, like a 150 grit, 220 grit sandpaper that somebody had put, not originally, but somebody had put this in there. And I bet you that worked fine. Um, I'm trying this rubber that actually came from the cutout window from uh, uh, a score display for pinball foam. And see if that works. If not, it's easy enough just to take that nut out and change it with a piece of rubber. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> this has all been scrubbed and cleaned. Now, the actual dispenser itself, I took and uh, removed the cover or the inside piece. So this is what holds the glass. And this actually holds the glass in by the lock down there. <clears throat> I may, I've got new paper ordered, so I'm not going to put this together quite yet. Plus, uh, I was trying to save the lock, but um, the threads are screwed up. There's more than one thing screwed up in the lock. So I I'm going to get a replacement short lock for it. Uh, cleaned up really good the, uh, the chrome polished it and I put new feet on. I just keep a tape on there right now just to protect it but I use these rubber feet and they were just a little big so I had to kind of push them in there and use a, a short uh, 1032 screw. Those are the ones I used. I'd probably go a little smaller but uh, that's what I had around. So now the trick is trying to get this uh, this plate in with the two springs and there's also this little guy here that's swinging in the path. I tried it forward, or you know, this this arm swung back, so I'm going to try in the forward position. Uh, one quick note on oil. Um, some people say use three-in-one motor oil. They do not mean this. Multi-purpose, regular oil, it has um, petroleum in it and stuff, and it can actually gum up over time. Where if you're going to use three-in-one, there's a little motor here. It's actually called motor oil, and it has blue on the can or bottle. Uh, I'm just using a silicone oil normally i use zoom oil i can't uh, uh find my can it's not here but uh zoom spout turbine silicone oil something that's light and thin that's not gonna gum up i've already pre-ordered oiled this and uh as you can see all the black gunk has been cleaned off so i'm gonna put that forward and try to tilt it forward Get that arm out of there and I'm going to try to work it on its side and this is going to prove to be a little bit of a challenge so let's see how well I do because so I got to get this in okay I passed that arm and I got this spring which I'm going to have to pull towards me and that's going to clip on to the plate here I'm assuming these springs are the correct ones, but we'll see how well it works when it gets on. And this has to flip under and over. This is probably the biggest pain in the butt part right here. I'm not going to worry too much about that top spring. This is one question I have for uh, other owners out there. The spring, it looks like there's this notch, this groove here. And it would only make sense for that spring to ride in that groove. And I don't know if I did that or if it was done there at one time. A lot of videos I've seen online has it has a spring there. Now the spring controls up down pressure of this. So if the spring is back farther, it's gonna only put pressure on on when the when it's in the back so i think we can try it both ways so now i got this in there let's hope i got this right drop the screw in i don't actually hold we got a captive spring spring washer now i can tighten this back down
before I tighten that down, just to make sure it works. That did not work as well as I as planned. This spring back here just was too much tension. I'm gonna try it with that spring and the groove because I think it's supposed to be in the groove. Doesn't make sense for me for it to be where it was. Okay, let's try that again. Seems to be working. So I'm just gonna put a drop of oil there. There's a pivot back here. I'm just gonna want to get just a drop of oil. Now I don't like this oiler. My zoom oil has a really narrow little tip in it. Now it's silicone, so it's not gonna should not gum up over time. Where the arm rubs it doesn't hurt to put a little oil there, I don't think. Okay. Okay, so far so good. So uh, I am going to go ahead and tighten this down good. There we go. So far, so good. Let me try putting a few cards in there. These are kind of all mixed up, so... One thing I've seen on other videos online that it's important that the cards sit flat. I don't know how well these cards are gonna work. They're all different. There's three different sizes here. That's one thing I'm going to have to eventually sort these cards so they're all the same direction. Yeah, I see that uh, flipping upside down is not good. There's the answer side, and then there's that, then there's the cards, then there's the, the card side for additional information. So it looks like it's going to be a little bit of <laughs> sorting on this huge stack of 100 some cards. You can actually can see when I look down the, <laughs> something's wrong. Let me try a short stack, maybe. Okay. See if I get this thing to dispense. Still not the best. Okay. So, I'm going to put the three weights on there. Not really too hopeful. <laughs> I'm going to put the flat weight. Then you got the... I'm going to call it the anti-upfeed weight, and then the don't press down weight, the don't touch on that. Okay, let's see what we get when I put... So that's the answer to that question. That is not enough tension. Hopeful that this is gonna work. Yeah, something's wrong with the springs. So looks like we're gonna need some more work. But uh, that's basically trying to assemble it. I just need to figure out what's going on with the spring. Maybe it's something with that rubber. Who knows? Uh, thank you for uh, watching. Stay tuned for more updates.